Welcome to the Way Application Vulnerability Scanning with this powerful tool App Spider provided by Rapid7 organization. This tool performs vulnerability scanning of web applications using various plugins and the vulnerability database. So simply I will go through the scanning of web applications using a test site. This application and this tool is not freely available over the internet. If you have a corporate email ID, you can just request a evaluation for the 14 days. This is really a fantastic tool that I like most of the time and going through the vulnerability assessment of web applications because it finds a lot more information on vulnerabilities and reports in a really precise manner that I like it the most. Okay, so let's start and scan the test site for the web applications vulnerability. Simply type the name. Put the IP address or the test site that you have. Click next. These are the scan policies that you can make configure according to your needs and according to your vulnerability assessment. You can select all and modify all one by one. In this video lesson, I will simply scan with the by default configuration of this tool that is really a best approach to a scan a web application vulnerability. If you want, you can manually go through all the tabs on the left pane and check all these things and the features of this tool, what it supports and what are the features of this tool. As you can see, this supports all the vulnerabilities associated with the web applications and the server related. Okay, so save this configuration. As you can see, there is a scan configuration has been created with the name Grayhead. I will simply start this and run this scan to assess the web application vulnerabilities. After clicking this, it will provide all the event logs in this pane that what it is doing at this time and what are the scan it performing at the time. This provides all the descriptions. Simply drag it here or if you want you can just delete one. As you can see the scan has been started and uh, it has found till now the two vulnerabilities with the risk of medium level. So performing even a single way application analysis with this tool will take a lot more time as you can see how much data it have attacked and how much the parameter it have tested till now. So simply I will stop this and generate a report. Okay, as you can see the report has been generated in HTML format. What the feature I like most about this tool is that it creates reports in really a realistic way and convenient way so that anyone with a little knowledge about the web application security and development and the vulnerability management can read this report and make a decision. So simply I will analyze this report because this provides really a useful information about the target and the scanning results that it have performed. So from here you can move one by one and navigate to each one and the vulnerability piece and from the all the scan performed by this tool in simply a point and click manner. So as you can see the this is the vulnerability by risk. This provides in the graphical format and this is the total vulnerability reports total of 128 in which application and database related vulnerability is 124 and the server administrator related issue is 4. This also provides compliance related scans and also performs to check that if the target system and the target web applications is following the standards and the compliance like HIPAA, PCI DSS and FISMA and also performs the testing of WASP top 10 vulnerabilities that the target may consist. As you can see this is WASP 2013 have 29 issues. It have failed to be a stand on the WASP guidelines and the standards. Similarly, it also performs tests against the compliance like PCI to check that if it supports and follows the standards and regulations of PCI DSS. Going through these links, you can check what is the issues. Like simply, this is the FISMA, that is the Federal Information Security Management Act report. In this report, you can check what is the issues and how many issues that lacks the FISMA standards and compliance. Okay, going through the vulnerabilities. This is the vulnerability chart that have been presented and created in a similar and really a fantastic manner that can be read by anyone and with application developers. Like there is a business logic abuse with one and there is a content type character set in the headers 
of 96 and similarly there are a lot more vulnerabilities that it have found till now and with a simply simple scan to the test site and there are a lot more information that it provides also to mitigate the risk and what was the root cause for that vulnerability and that standards does not meet this regulations and compliance so similarly going through the analysis of details you can check one by one and link by link that it have performed and present it in risk wise like low medium and high so going through the medium level of vulnerability it have presented that the credentials over unencrypted channel has been passed means there is no any ssl or tls certificates has been found over the target system that have been performed and scanned for the vulnerability scanning so this is the credential sent over http that is not https and there is the cwe with a number that you can find more information about it and this is also the error that it defaults in the post method that it used to pass the data to the server and this is the original traffic it have performed while testing the applications similarly a lot more information and the vulnerabilities can be tested with this tool and you can be sure about the tool and the results that it have generated that it is following all the standards and the vulnerability management to find and mitigate the risk it also provides a way and the port to mitigate the risk that it have found till now and what was the root cause of that attack in really a simple and simplistic manner this is the remediation summary that it provides how to remediate that there are a lot more information about the remediation for the application developers and the server administrator that they can perform to mitigate the risk and simply secure the way applications this tool app spider is really a great and fantastic tool to perform way application vulnerability and create a simple and really convenient report using this tool you can be sure that there is no vulnerability left on the way applications